we're going to play at a fast game speed and we're going to put up points no matter who we're going against. So I feel confident with the tempo that we played at. Um, I feel like it was where Coach uh, Montgomery and Coach uh, Locks wanted us to play at, and I feel like we didn't let off the gas at all. Did you see anything from Josh Jackson in a live game environment that you maybe didn't know about them from this camp? The biggest thing that I saw, and then I saw him kind of enhance on today, was just the leadership uh, role. He just came out, he put us in the right spots, directed us the right way, and led us to the victory. But what's with the number 15? Is that something you picked? Uh, I, ca I kind of landed with it, and I, it stuck, so. I it looks like you like it a lot, yep. <laughs> with the jewelry there. You blinged up to it. Yes, sir. So, um, after last year, I, I kind of grew a liking to it, and I'm going to make it stick, so. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. When you score so much so early, I mean, what does it say about a team to be able to kind of stay dialed and stay focused when you're up, you know, 15 and up? Um, the biggest thing Coach Locke tells us is not to look at the scoreboard. So, because a lot of times when people look at the scoreboard, they start to be complacent if they're up or down by, say, 50 points. But we know if we just play the way we play for all four quarters, then we're going to keep a, a good product on the field at all times. Do you have any concept of what this, I mean, like, did you know what the score was throughout the game? Or did you, or did you see it? I can't, yeah, occasionally we glance at it, okay. but we don't make our whole point about, oh, let's try to get 70, let's try to get 80. We're just playing the play. So. Did they tell you you weren't going to play in the second half and you went for the locker room? Uh, no, no. We didn't know what the game plan was going to be. What do you guys talk about? Do you actually watch the game? <laughs> uh, what happens on the sideline? Oh, so we do, we do watch the game. Um, we just try to get whoever's in, whether it's a young guy or somebody that's maybe a little low on the depth chart. We just try to watch them play, and then uh, we're always rooting for each other. So that's, Do you know uh, what the play call was? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay.